Brian and Bongani. Can you please tell us about your cycle race? Uh, sure. Uh, my name is Brian Herbsitis. I'm from New York. And um, I started this project in uh, 2010. Uh, I found out I was positive myself in 2006 and having done some of my studies in South Africa I wanted to do something to give back to South Africa and I knew HIV and AIDS was such a huge issue here that also impacted my life back home. So I started this project and this is the sixth year that we're running the project. Uh, every year we cycle from Johannesburg to Cape Town to raise money and awareness for HIV and AIDS in South Africa and most recently the last two years in Southern Africa because we expanded the ride in the last two years to Botswana, Lesotho and Swaziland this year for the first time. Okay, and uh, are you uh, raising funds or? We did, we raised um, $11,000 US which I guess is about 110,000 rand um, and this is the first year we've been able to pay for the ride. We, we barely made it, <laughs> but uh, we've been able to pay for our costs. In the years past, we were always in the red, and we, you know, I think that's showing that we're getting more and more sponsors. This is our, even though 11,000 almost wasn't enough, we needed 12,000 properly, so I did dip a bit into my own pocket, but mostly, you know, it came from donors and friends and family and so on. South Africans, Europeans, North Americans, we're getting, a more global uh, awareness of of Ars's brand, sort of. Um. So are you part of the group? Tabu, yes, hi. tell me about the charity dry ride. Okay, it's the Arsa called the AIDS Ride uh, South Africa. It's mainly for the it's the AIDS awareness, HIV and AIDS awareness. Mm -hmm. So this ride is for the charity. We're just riding for the charity and so on. We're riding from Johannesburg to to um to, to Cape Town, straight ahead to Cape Town. So. It's kind of like fun though, it's a good thing, we're doing it all the way, that's how it is. Um, I don't know what to say anymore, but it's something that we Are you enjoying the ride? A lot. Okay. It's fun, I can say it's fun. Why would so they it's, it happens, say that you're the best rider? Maybe this uh, move too fast and when I pedal, maybe climbing the hills and so on, it's <laughs> kind of like I come too fast and so on. Yeah. And where to next? Sorry? Where are you guys going to next? So it's Vokesta. I don't know how they pronounce that properly. So somewhere okay. there, yeah. After better day, it's Vokesta. Yeah, something like that. All right. Thank okay. you, Tabu. Bongani, why are you doing this race? Uh, this race, I'm doing it for my mom. Uh, she got sick 2009. Uh, she found out 2009 that she's sick. So there was no support anyone uh, there was nobody who support my mom so i thought that she's positive so she need my help uh, sometimes i would go to to um, uh, clinics and get her medication because some other people they are afraid that if they've got positive they're gonna die so it's not about dying you'll live longer than you think so many people they will tell uh, they will tell themselves that they will never help people who are HIV positive. So I'm um, one of the uh, of the person who who is negative, but helping those who are positive. And wow. people they should help those who are positive because they are still our brothers and we still share the same blood. You see, it, it doesn't matter that you are positive or negative, but we do share the same blood. So everyone in South Africa should stand up and say, stop, uh, use condoms and donate and help other people to, to pick up in life. Thank you, Tabo. How's your mom doing? My mom, she's fine. She's fat. She's healthy. She's eating healthy. If she's eating something wrong, I would tell her, no, mom, that's wrong. You should try something that is healthy for you. Because I, I, I do, sometimes I do cook for her and I cook, I cook healthy food for her. Only healthy food. So it's, <laughs> you're feeling positive. Thank you so much. That's thank, awesome. Well done. Thank you. Tabu, how and do you want the public to help you? Um, Vinti, I mean like it's okay, it's kind of complicated, but I would like if the community or everyone, anyone who's interested in helping us to donate anything that can be helpful to this organization, especially on the bike paths, I mean especially relate, um, 
pressing the street to the bicycle shops and bicycle companies that would just help us find more sponsors to sponsor this tour to from Johannesburg to, to Cape Town, get us more bike parts, everything that's relevant to the bicycles, actually, actually for the cyclists. So I would like if the community just to help us get, I mean like the sound, any, any sense counts, please help us get anything that could help us get through this tour, make it move and forever and forever for even the young ones could also participate in it and help us get through with anything that's too important to it. I mean for the, I would like if more especially the bicycle shops, cycling shops could help us get all those like I mentioned before, all those relevant uh, parts like tubes, especially I have a bike that's not properly okay. I would like if bicycle companies could just help us get the new frames so that we can cycle properly without any bicycle errors and problems on the road. Yes, it's always giving us problems. I mean, we're using old bikes. I mean, if there's anyone who's interested, in, actually maybe who's interested in just giving us away, I'm um, giving away a bicycle to us. We can would like um would lovely appreciate that. Okay, great. Yeah, Thank so, you. Mm -hmm. Continue okay. if you mind. Brian, uh, do you have any final message about AIDS for the public? and how they can contact you? I do. Um, last year uh, and this year, we handed out 13 condoms last, 13,000, excuse me, condoms last year and 13,000 condoms this year. And condoms is just one angle of the uh, HIV prevention message we're trying to press. We're trying to introduce South Africans to PrEP, pre-exposure prophylaxis. We know it's a drug that can prevent HIV for those who are taking it. We also are peddling the message that if you are sick, the best way to keep yourself healthy is by taking your ARVs. Don't share them with others, don't give them to your kids, take your prescriptions so that you can stay healthy, you can stay employed, you can stay active and get on a bicycle and do something like cycle across South Africa, do something meaningful so that you don't just have to sit there and feel sorry for yourself. And if you'd like to contact ARSA and get involved, you can do so on our website at www.arsa.org.za and you can see all of our details there, how to contact me, our Facebook links, our Twitter and our, video, our YouTube page and all that. So you can follow the adventure online and please do get in touch with us and come along next year and um, tell your friends to please donate. Thank Thanks you so much, Brian. Thanks a lot.